Hulu's Fresh provides an original take on the perils of dating and consumer culture. Here are the biggest questions left from the mercurial thriller. Though this point is largely made through Noah's story and individual perspective, the world that Fresh hints at is vast and complex. After all, Steve is not acting on his own. He is part of a larger society that fuels his business, the members of which seem to be mysterious, well-connected, and obscenely rich. There are many inquiries to be made about how Steve's twisted world functions outside of Noah's trauma. 1. How many women has Steve killed? MCU actor Sebastian Stan's Steve runs a frighteningly successful operation, indicated by his vast wealth and his large collection of his previous victims' possessions. How long has Steve been doing this, and how many women have died because of it? He mentions having been introduced to the taste of human flesh at a young age, meaning that his business could be anywhere from 5 to 15 years old. Steve's age is never disclosed, but assuming he is in his mid-30s and began his underground venture in his 20s, dozens to hundreds of women could have perished at his hand. It is unclear how often Steve seeks out new victims, which makes the number even more difficult to estimate. You lost my trust, Noah. 2. How did Anne become Steve's wife? When Noah's best friend Molly, Jojo T. Gibbs, realizes something is amiss and goes searching for answers, she finds that Steve is actually a married man with two kids. Steve's wife, Anne, played by the walk Charlotte LeBone, at first seems unaware of her husband's underground activities. However, her complicity is revealed when she hits Molly over the head, surrendering her to Steve's designs after she comes too close to figuring out the truth. Jill. Anne seems neither reluctant nor enthusiastic about a role in Steve's system, and the extent of her involvement is unclear, making her a very ambiguous and enigmatic figure. The question of Anne's background becomes even more intriguing after a shower scene shows her to be missing one of her legs, suggesting that she was once one of the women abducted by Steve. Impressively, Anne must have managed to maneuver her way off of the chopping block and into Steve's confidences, but how did she do it? Fresh establishes that Steve is wont to develop favorites or women who he fixates on and sympathizes with more than others. Normal people's Daisy Edgar Jones plays one of these women, and pretending to return his favor is what ultimately helps Noah escape. Perhaps Anne did something similar, but was not pretending or simply never stopped pretending. It's also possible that she became pregnant while in captivity, prompting Steve to spare her for the sake of his two male children. Why do women taste better than men? When Noah asks if Steve's victims are all women, he apathetically explains that women just taste better. Is that actually true, or do Steve and his entirely male clientele just get a twisted thrill out of owning and consuming female bodies? The latter seems much more likely, especially given that Steve packages his meals with pictures and items owned by the victims vacuum sealed within. Fresh shares more than a few thematic similarities with Emerald Fennell's promising young woman and it takes care to emphasize that Steve's buyers get a greater satisfaction out of their meat when they know it comes from young, attractive women. It isn't about how the women taste, it's about men craving a perverse awareness of their own power over those they find desirable. Could Steve's business exist in real life? Last year's Army Hammer cannibal drama definitely added an uncanny relevance to Fresh's story that makes it somewhat more plausible than it may have been before. There are not many limits on what the uber-wealthy can covet and get away with, especially if they don't have Hammer's fame and media spotlight to draw any suspicion or public interest. While it would be nice to definitively say that a situation like the one presented in Fresh could never happen in real life, it isn't truly possible to know for sure. You better not. Does Steve have business partners? What makes Steve different from many other horror movie serial killers is that he is not acting alone or solely for the sake of his own sick compulsions. He is rather one member of a larger elite, male-dominated society, the 1% of the 1%, that shares a fervent passion for consuming human meat. A bodyguard delivery person is seen working for Steve at some point, but beyond that, only his clients are shown on screen. However, it's probable that Steve has other employees and business partners that make what he does possible. If anything, this makes the serial killing of Fresh more perturbing, as it is something that many people have a collective hand in. Cook to something. If you're open to trying it. Will Noah ever date again?
Aside from broader questions about Steve and his world, there is one more pressing issue to address. Will Noah be able to trust a man enough to become romantically involved ever again? The likely answer is no. There are really no examples presented of good men in fresh, and after Noah's experiences, it is probably not worth the risk trying to find one. However, Noah, Molly, and Penny are bonded for life after their time in Steve's captivity, creating from a terrible situation an unconventional but strong new family dynamic between the three women.